How's it going guys? It's Rich Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this application right here or I should say launcher. This is called L Launcher and it is a lollipop based launcher so it's going to look like a lot like lollipop. Let's go ahead and open it up and here you go. That was the link for the Google Play Store. I'll put it in the video description so you guys can check this out if you'd like. You can see you do start with the import so you can import things from other launchers and get all your icons imported over which is quite nice and then there is a user guide if you'd like to go through that um, you can see just gonna go ahead and remove a couple of these we're gonna go through basically the overview of this launcher and try to give you guys a good feel for what's in here and what is unique and involved and offered in uh, L launcher so first of all let's go ahead and check out what we have here there's launcher settings there behind my camera I know you guys can't uh, make that out right now, but it is right there. And then you have system settings, which is just your standard system settings for your specific device. This is the Nexus 6, so this is what my settings look like. You can also come in here and add widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, clock. And we can also come and resize the widget. So that's very nice as well. Along with that, we can also pick out which screen we want to be our home screen. So maybe we want that one to be our home screen or you can come over and select the first one. So that's also very nice along with adding additional screens. Um, actually it looks like you can do a bunch of things here. So you can add apps. You can see all these things. You can add widgets or you can add, uh, it looks like it said wallpaper there. Let's see. Or wallpaper. You can do some different things there. Uh, L color wallpaper it's interesting these widgets let's see what you got system widgets L actions system actions L cleaner uh, so there's a you know, let's actually throw that one up there just because it looks interesting and we'll go back out so you can see your free RAM and whatnot on there so along with that you do obviously have your app drawer which is right right here you can see the icons are kind of small. There's many per row, about six per row. Partially that's because you're on a Nexus and there's so much real estate up there. Um, along with this in the app drawer, you can see it's strictly applications. You can come up here to the top and you can go ahead and see a bunch of different things you can adjust. So you have an app manager, which is the standard app manager that's on the device. So you can use that if you like to use it. You also have uh, creating folders and this is for the pro version if you want that for prime you would have to buy that feature in here i'm reviewing strictly the the free application here of android uh, launcher so we also have sort orders so you can do a to z latest installed earliest installed first customized sorting mostly used so there's a bunch of things i could do mostly used, and it's kind of a nice way to sort it let's see if i can go back out and well, it's not going to sort it that way yet because I haven't used this thing too much to be able to do that. But it is an option. It'll start doing that now. Then you have L settings again, which you can see you can get to from many different ways. And we'll go through those in a second. So here's L settings again there. So they're, they're kind of everywhere. L settings again there behind my photo. So like I said, it's kind of everywhere on here, which is cool. All right, so you've seen the basic overview here. Now we're going to get into the good stuff, which is the L settings. So from here, you have a lot of, lot of options. First of all, let's go ahead and look here. So common, this is where you set your default launcher, or you can set it like I did through settings. Um, some security stuff right there. Protect, hide apps, lock apps, so on. You can go in there, and you can read through that if you want to set up a pattern for your device. Uh, next, you have desktop. This is going to be the grid and how it functions along with your transitions which are pretty cool there are a bunch down here that are prime that means you would have to pay for them but there are quite a few here you can also use so i'm going to actually do cube out and i'll just show you guys how that looks for the desktop so you can see how it's transitioning a little bit differently and that's what you're changing there with the transitions under desktop so along with that you have show uh, search bar you can have in there different hiding uh, things you can hide there, there's really a lot in here hide status bar scaling for icon size if you want to blow them up shrink them down wallpaper settings for continual scrolling um, you can also turn on a swipe to the 
left and it'll turn on Google now if you want to enable that kind of stuff as well. So besides that, we'll go into the drawer. Again, this is the grid. You saw six by six. We can change the grid and how it's laid out for the app drawer, um, hide applications, and so on. Most of this is pretty standard when it comes down to uh, any custom launcher you can install. This is really nice right here. You can change how you scroll in your app drawer. Instead of left to right, you can scroll up and down, or you can scroll with vertical with categories. I'm going to try scrolling up and down and see if it lets me do that yeah so see you can scroll up and down now so that's kinda cool I like that that's a nice uh, nice little L settings there again we have docs here's your doc pages so right now you have three you have up to five what it is you're adjusting with docs is you're adjusting this down here see how it's scrolling and you can have multiple docs down there with different applications so it's, it's a nice feature as well when it comes to the docs um, sidebar so this is really cool what sidebar does is it gives you like another little sidebar thing if you've ever seen on um, any of the N N galaxy nexus I'm sorry not nexus galaxy Samsung galaxy devices like the s5 or specifically the notes they have that little like sidebar launcher it's basically the same concept so you can go ahead and turn it on here and then if you want to get into the settings you can see the little blue right there above my picture that is the area that it draws over. But if you want to get into settings, you can actually tweak things and make it any color you'd like. I'm going to go with like that. So you have a green. And then you can also do positioning and size. So you can shrink it down and change the side it's on. So you can see it's over here now. So very, very cool. Um, I'll set that. And then what happens anytime you want to use that feature you swipe over and you have a bunch of quick toggles along the top you can see through those which is very nice you can launch a bunch of things some recent applications you can add some favorites you can see your RAM bar you can see your battery so there's quite a bit here that you can do in this sidebar feature which is pretty cool so that's gonna be your sidebar again you have some folder things you can go through setting up different setups in your folder there are a bunch of features that are prime only that you would have to pay for if uh, that's what you want and you can see like styles here so how do you want your folders to look um, fan stack grid like maybe oh that's kind of a cool grid hard to see though I'll, I'll put them like that so we can see them that way uh, and so on we got themes so again you have some themes here you can see Android L theme native theme or color theme I'm kind of curious myself as to how that works so interesting color configure color theme select the base icons oh that's kind of fun there's like a background you got like hearts ones and triangles and squares and circles let's do oh uh, see so you know it's prime so i don't want to do that right in this minute we'll go back we'll just do the squares for right now um icon skies masking so there's quite a bit you can do here i'm gonna go ahead and apply that we'll go look at that really quick actually I'm just curious. I've not used the theme yet. Okay, so there you go. If you want to use this theme, not really my favorite. Um, looks like there'd be a lot more options in there if you wanted to really get into them. But it's still cool that you can do it like this on the fly. You can see there's that, that uh, what do you want to call it, that folder right there. But let's go ahead and let's go back to settings just because I really don't like that. And I'm going to change this really quick. So we'll go back to themes. And we'll go to Android L. And we should be back out of that. Yeah, there we go. But there you go. That's That looks better with that folder right there. It looks pretty cool. So uh, we'll keep going moving here. You have unread counts, which is really nice. So missed calls and stuff. It'll put little uh, information on there. I'll select the app. That's interesting. Let's go back. So missed calls. So you have to select the phone app. It's not in here default, which is just surprising and then save it so it'll show you this information yeah on the icon so that's that's cool and then there's obviously some more here you can do if you have the paid for version of the uh, launcher besides that you do have some gestures again a lot of this is unlocked with the prime version but specifically you have the swipe up and down that you can go ahead and program so swipe down would be oh let's see what we want to make it anyway some different things you can go to Maybe we'll just do L settings. That's kind of nice. Swipe up or down will bring in L settings. Um, and then we have advanced. 
which would be resetting it, keeping it in memory, exiting launcher, importing, restoring, all that kind of good stuff as well. So there you go. That's going to be uh, most of the settings on this thing. So I'm going to swipe down really quick and see if we get, yep, there it is. There's the L uh, launcher settings. So very, very cool. Um, definitely some nice customization in here. If you're looking for a new style launcher and you just want something different on your device, go ahead, check this thing out. It's pretty nice. Definitely some good customization in it. And it seems to be running pretty well. A little bit jarring on that uh, transition right there. I'm a little curious if I change that back. Desktop, transition. Uh, we'll go with, well, I don't want to go with tablet. We'll just go with none. And see how that looks better. There's a little bit of redraw every time you change something. That's just because it's like loading it in. Yeah, see this looks a lot better. Much cleaner transition. So, very cool. There you go, guys. That's going to be it for my little video here on the Nexus 6 for this L launcher. Checking it out, seeing, uh, seeing all the new features and stuff that are in it. Stay tuned for more videos on different launchers. You know I cover pretty much everything. More videos on the Nexus 6 and other devices that I've got. And that's going to be it for me today. And we'll catch you guys next time. Woohoo. Whoop junkie out.